Hi, this is Paula J from Secure Academy delivering cybersecurity talks and today it's a very special interview. I'm here with Vernon Leighton. Hi, how's it going? Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. The, the interview is very special because uh, you are not working in IT. Correct. Not, but you are working in recruitment. Yes. So, so uh, what we're going to be talking about uh, today are all the important factors that you guys need to follow in order to get the job in the cybersecurity field. Yeah? Exactly. Okay, perfect. So, uh, a couple of words. So, Bernard works at uh, Stanton Chase International. It's a professional company um, hiring different types of um, different types of specializations, different types of people. And Bernard himself uh, hires uh, cybersecurity professionals and also senior and mid-management um, positions. Exactly. And you did over 2,200 searches, yeah? Yeah, our organization is 74 offices in 45 countries and we do about 2,200 searches a year across a number of segments, but IT and security are an important part of what we do. Oh, perfect. So, so yeah, well, this, you are the perfect source of knowledge then. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guys, uh, these questions are for you. So what are, in general, the most demanded jobs in the security field right now? Well, I think the analyst role is uh, and project management role are the two top positions that are uh, growing dramatically. The whole field is obviously growing dramatically. Mm -hmm. uh, we are... Um, recruiting actively now for uh, several project management roles in uh, identity and access management, penetration testing, uh, a number of technical disciplines, uh, governance and compliance, risk management, all of these areas within the security privacy space. And again, it typically is focused around the analyst level, project management level, and frankly, we do a senior uh, work at the CISO level as well. Mm, how, how would you, in general, evaluate the attractiveness of those jobs in, compar in comparison to other IT jobs? Like, let's start maybe from salary, because that's everybody. Right. Would, everybody wants to know that. Yeah. Right. Well, so first of all, I would say the demand is high for security. The, the, it's obviously very much in the press. It's very much in the minds of board of directors to ensure that security, information security, is managed effectively. It is also. Uh, uh, key that uh, that because that business is growing to um, make sure that the compensation and the levels of the position in these companies are being managed carefully. Okay. So. Could we, for example, name some amounts, more or less? So, um, you know, at a project management level, I think domestically, I think U.S., but in a project management level, you're looking at anywhere from eighty to $120,000 level positions mm -hmm. um, and at the analyst level a little bit more junior you're looking more at the 60 to a hundred thousand dollar level mm, absolutely so yeah. and, and in such a situation I believe that certification is important and anything that you absolutely. can bring in to make your experience to, to be right. better yeah yes uh, CISSM and uh, many other ISSA mm -hmm. designations are pretty critical in this space oh, that's good to know and so um, and that will help in terms of their professional development. Oh, that's Absolutely. Good. Yeah. And what, what are, in general, the companies seeking in that, that kind of candidates? What, what would you um, find in a candidate that is like nice that you would recommend this candidate to other companies? Yeah, what would I, that be? I, great. Uh, so I think the key here is ultimately um, leadership, interpersonal skills, ability to multitask, many things that go beyond just the technical nature hmm. of the jobs, but understanding how to project manage, meet timelines, meet uh, performance expectations. The well-roundedness that is true of any job, even beyond IT, but it's mm -hmm. particularly important to progress with an IT. Background. It must be a very hard job because uh, IT is actually famous for no interpersonal skills, you know? Right, and so I think that's the challenge is people need to work on those project management skills particularly to help uh, grow their careers. What, what people can do, what would you recommend, for example, for IT guys uh, to be like for those positions and have these kind of skills? Like, should they present more, like speak at the meetings? Like, Yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, we use a phrase in our business, kind of stepping to the center of the stage and, yeah. and being the lead actor in the stage. And in this case, it's in this IT security space. And to do that, it takes a, an interpersonal skill set that they need to develop and work on, mm -hmm. present more, 
put themselves in situations like RSA and, and be in more the public mind where we're attending today. And what about uh, females in cybersecurity field? Do you see them often or how does it look like? Yeah, it's a very important area. The Stanton Chase is known to be very focused in diversity initiatives and have received a number of awards in that direction. Mm -hmm. And we see security as a forefront for, and the demand is high for females in that particular field in this field. The clients are begging for it. They need quality people. Mm -hmm. um, we have to attract more folks to that. Mm -hmm. And so to do that is both a uh, mark a campaign to make that happen, but mm -hmm. it is also a, uh, a promote and make an earnest effort by the companies to promote those folks as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's an ongoing challenge. Okay, and yeah. do you see a lot of um, uh, like a female cybersecurity specialist that are applying for a job or statistically or statistically I guess it's less because it's a kind of a men's world but it, and I think it's it about I, I think it's about the the type of people that thrive in that space it's very mm -hmm. technical in nature it hmm. tends to be uh, not as interpersonally focused so I think the challenge is is how do you make it more compelling mm -hmm. for the female population. Mm -hmm. I don't see as many. I think it's a small group. It is, yeah. But, but we've got to work on that. Of course. Yeah, statistically, it's less. Um, but, but, but I see it's growing because there's like more and more uh, women engaged. So it's good to hear that. Yeah? And the companies need to be engaged in solving this as well. Yeah. That, that hire the people. What would be your advice, for example, for like uh, junior guys that are seeking in jobs in uh, cybersecurity? What would be your advice? Like, how can they start? Well, I think, you know, again, the educational background is key and the accreditation backgrounds mm -hmm. are key. They need to work to separate themselves from just the staff level capabilities. Mm -hmm. And so ultimately, um, good old fashioned hard work, putting the hours in and, and learning through experience and developing that experience. Absolutely. And right. what would be your recommendation for someone who is already in the security field and wants to uh, be on the higher level? Well, and so I think this gets back to this idea of project management skills, those interpersonal skills, leading mm -hmm. leading by moving to the center of the stage. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting, but um, in, in financial times, uh, they said that by 2019, we will uh, be like one million soldiers so short from the cybersecurity perspective. Right. So there's a big need uh, of the market for the cybersecurity jobs, but there are not enough people that are qualified for those, or maybe they just don't know that they want to get there, yeah? Right. Yeah, we've gone through this several times in other fields as well, and the industry as a whole needs to work together mm -hmm. to make the roles more attractive, both economically, mm -hmm. salary, yeah. um, but also in terms of the education and development of the people. And so it's just, uh, it, it's going to take time. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have time, right? There's too many roles to fill. But I think at the end of the day, it's it's a balance between the people working hard as well as the uh, companies in the industry fostering that growth and development. Working hard never disturbs anyone. No, never disturbs anyone. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, thank you so much. Just just a few words uh, of a summary. So, market is in the need of such specialists. Yes. Uh, both from techie part and also from the management part. Absolutely. Uh, what, what I also see from the, uh, our perspective as a, as a consulting company, when we get into different types of customers, there, there needs to be a little bit more uh, education on board in the cybersecurity field because it's a relatively new subject. Yes. And everybody's like, it's, it's new to everybody. Yeah? We don't know what to expect because it's uh, hackers and it's in their minds what's going to be the next threat. So we have to be ready for unknown. So the, the knowledge really covers that kind of uh, approach. Yes. Uh, but but uh, from the from the market perspective, could you, uh, in general, uh, summarize how it looks um, in the like uh, different types of sectors? Is it more popular job in the banking area or medical or governmental? Yeah. So I think all three of those areas are growth areas. Mm -hmm. We, uh, it, particularly in the United States, we have all sorts of uh, rules around data breach, data reveal as it relates to medical records. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, a key growth area. The mm -hmm. financial services, of course, where money is stored uh, is a key area. We're also seeing growth in uh, markets like um, uh, the consumer market and mm -hmm. retail and many other markets where the credit card influence is involved and mm -hmm. CPI and management of those sorts of uh, access management. So. 
we think the market's dynamic. We think it's growing. Oh, and and the quality news, yeah. of the people is what it's all about. What this is what all we need, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect, yeah. So uh, today, uh, Bernard Layton was uh, here with me, at Stanton Chase International. Thank you so much for Absolutely. being here. Very, very useful tips. Well, hopefully you guys like them. Uh, make sure that uh, you're gonna keep growing your skills in cybersecurity. And uh, if you wanna get more details, click on the link. Uh, this, will, this will guide you to information also about the Stanton Chase International and also about things that we have to tell you what is important in education within the cybersecurity. Looking forward to see you there and thank you for thank being with me. Thank you very much. Thanks thank so you. much. Bye.